He said, because whatever that you are wearing, whatever that is outside, God is not interested about what is outside. He wants to know what is in your what in your heart. He said, so listen, my dear friends, a man is a sinner because he is a sinner, isn't it? A sinner is a sinner because why he is a sinner. A man is a thief because why he steals? Because he's a thief. A man is not a liar because he tells lies. He is a liar because why he's a liar. So Jesus Christ is saying this thing that we should do or all this is coming from the heart. And that is the reason why Jesus Christ was saying our righteousness need to do what? Exceed the righteousness of the scribes and the Pharisees. And that is why many of us today and many of the Jews during that time, Jesus Christ was monitoring them. Can you imagine sitting down washing someone, washing plate and noting that the person inside the heart of the person is, well, is so evil and that's why today i want you to repent your heart you see i want you to give your heart to jesus christ because apostle paul says similar thing in the book of romans chapter 10 verse 3 really? he said for can i can i bless you sir is the heart really Sorry? got evil in there no i don't need to speak up. okay but that's the heart really got evil in there yeah every man heart is evil in the heart yes in the heart yeah. it's not about where you wear it your heart is evil and god wants to claim your heart I thought the mind is evil, not the heart. And not everything. The Bible says, guide your heart with all diligence, because out of your what rivers of what issues of life. So, your heart is that that stores the things. If someone wants to commit a crime, you need to come from their heart. You know what I mean? Now, the mind is something that the devil is talking to you to do something, but you have to store it in your heart before you do it. That's why some people, they go home, they meditate about the things they're going to do the next day. So they already have it in their heart. Oh, oh. And that's why God wants to touch your heart. And then it goes up to the brain. And it goes, yeah, it goes to the mind. Oh. And then you got a conscious mind. And then it got the will. It got all these things. It got the soul. But then again, God wants to clean the heart because the heart of the man is the key. You see, you have so many religions. But then again, you can, you can fast from 90 to 20 years time. You can pray for 90 to 20 years time. If your heart is not clean, you cannot see God. So that is why God wants to get people from their heart. So what do you think, uh, uh, Christian, you're a Christian? Yeah? I'm a Christian, yes. What do you think of Jesus, the white, with the blue eyes, and the white hair? Yeah, so Jesus Christ with the blue eyes and the wood eye, that's what people think. Jesus Christ is from the Middle East. Just think about it, it's a Jew. Have you ever seen a Jew, man? Did they have blue eyes? Not really. So it's, it's a... Made up. Oh, yes, it's, it's, it's a Middle East. It's more or less like Arab looking, isn't it? Because that from that is inside. But the key point here is that the Bible says God is a spirit. So that means God is not white or black. That's what people may misunderstand. The reason why God came to Jewish people because why? God find favor in the eyes of God, Abraham. And from that procedure, God couldn't have come like Nigerians. I was from Nigeria. God couldn't have come there. Do you know why? Because my forefathers were idol worshippers. So God is going to break a rule to come there. Everyone else was idol worshippers, except the Jewish people. Because why? Abraham had the circumcision of what? Of heart. Not just the physical one they are thinking about, but of heart. And through that, Jesus Christ came into the world. They say. So he couldn't have come to Africa. He couldn't have come to Europe or anywhere else because everyone else was worshipping anything else except God. You see? So he coming as a Jewish person pretty much means that the Jewish people, they are blessed. Okay, but then again, God is a spirit. So when you go to heaven, there's no white, there's no black. That's what the Bible tells me in the book of Revelation. So everyone, everyone else has to be like a spirit. No agenda, no sex, no man, no female. Everyone of us like to be like an angel. So people have all this in misunderstand. That's why I have to come out to preach. That's why the Bible says, go here and preach the word. God bless you, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. What do you believe? Jesus is God or Son of God? Jesus Christ is God and Son of God. If you show me in the Bible, I will be ready to accept Christianity every now. Time, every time Muslims ask no, me this. No, nowhere written in Are the Bible. Are you a Muslim? Of course. Okay, but so I, know, I, I know the Bible as well. It, I know more, more than you. Okay. So do, you know... Do, do, do you know about the Quran? Can I, can I ask you a question? No, no. Let, let me do, you, do you want me to answer your question or you going to ask me a question? No, I'm asking you a question. You asked me a question? Yeah. So what's your question again, sir? Do, do you know about Quran? No, sir. Quran is the final book and uh, book from God. If you don't who, know who says, Quran, who says so? Written in the Bible. Written where in the Bible? In the Bible. Okay, show me which chapter and which page so I can this open it. Very different. Wait, wait. Can I say something as well? Yeah. There's always arguments between Muslim, Christian. No, no. I no. think I think the best thing is to show the heart. 
Because when we show the heart, we all Hallelujah. 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 Okay, so let me give, give me two minutes because I, I meet them every time, they always come to me. So I want to ask him a question before you go. I'm just saying it's better that we use our heart and not our heads. Because I know Hallelujah. 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 Now can I ask you a question before you leave, sir? How can you go to the kingdom of God? Kingdom of heaven. Just pray to him. Pray to him by what? To God. And then by your good deeds? Pardon? By your good deeds, by doing good. Well, nice human being, pray to Nice God. human being? Yeah. Now this is where the problem is. None of us is nice. Me that I'm preaching, I'm not nice. You are not nice, sir. Every one of us living in here, we are not nice. That's what my Bible tells me. Now the only person who can give you that ticket of, to kingdom of God is Jesus Christ. You put it in this way. Let's say a man come and knock at the gate of heaven and then the voice inside say, who is knocking? And you say, I'm a religious person. Okay. Let me finish. I give me two minutes. I give you the mind. You say I'm a religious person. You know what I like? You know what I like? I like our lie. Our lie is very good. I but know. our differences is the biggest problem. I know, but the problem is... color of our skin, our If I ask him a question, how many books problem. come from God? Tell me. The Bible says, the Bible says we only got one Bible. No. How okay. many books God send you? We to have 66 pages. We have 66 <laughs> of us laying the Bible. They're similar. The Jewish, so, the Quran. Um, the Bible, they're, they're no, 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 no. They're, they're not the same. They're not the same. No, they're not the same. They're not the same. No, no, no. They're not the same. How many similar? No, 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 no. So the difference. Abraham. No, the difference here is this. I know Torah. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna explain to you if you want to listen. The difference here is this. The Muslim believe. Okay, Muhammad is obviously, for my own eyes, is a first prophet to start with, okay? I don't think he's a, he's, he's, he's a real prophet. Do you, do you know why? Because when you die, you don't know where you're going. That says a lot about you. Now, the Bible said that Jesus Christ died and came back again. No, Amen? So, so then again, so that, so that again, brother, if Jesus Christ died and came back again, so who am I going to believe? Somebody who died said that he doesn't know where he's going. Now, me are standing here, I know that I'm going to heaven because I believe in Jesus Christ who came and died for me and because of his precious blood. So what's your technique? What's your technique of uh, staying calm when the influence of the devil comes in? Do you just go into prayer or do you go inside? What do you, what's your technique? Or do you just in, the, in, Christ in Christianity, there's no technique. It's the Holy Spirit, which is God. The Bible gives you nine gifts. So the first one is love, peace, joy patience, kindness, goodness, oh. gentleness, self-control, and faithfulness. So you focus on that. So all these gifts are it's, it's a focus. fruit. And if I'm not showing it, then I can't call myself a Christian. So you focus on those things? I don't focus on them. They're already in me. And I have to leave it out. How do you bring them out? Yes. Oh. It's like you said, it's, for example, you said like an apple tree. So when I shake you, I want to see apple fruit falling down. I don't want to see oranges. I don't want to see mangoes. You know what I mean? Like if you tell me who you are, I want to see Christ in you. You see? But the Muslims, they always watch to me when I'm preaching. I never go to them. They always come to me. So there's a, there's a spirit there that is attracting them. You know? Yes, if if you feel confident, well. if you feel confident about your religion, if I see a Muslim not preaching, brother, if I see a Muslim not speaking, I will never go to him. Do you know why? Do you know why? Because I'm content with what I have. I don't need to learn about Muslim. I don't need to learn anything about Quran. For me, it's a false book. I also think uh, Muhammad is also a false prophet. It, yes, it's a false prophet. If you are dying, you don't know where you're going. What's the point? It's like a blind, living a blind. Does it make sense to you? So if you are, conf if you are confident who, who you believe, you don't have to fight for your God. If somebody says something about your God that is not nice, which if anyone will have intelligence to say that, but then again, you don't have to fight for your God because my God can fight for me. So we are not being called to go and fight for God. We are called to do what? To preach the word. Now the word is going to be like a seed. Now it depends on the way he falls. If your heart is ready, you accept. If your heart is not ready, maybe be for another day. And that is why they... You know what I found out? I found out because that's what I do. I go around helping out younger kids. Yeah. To uh, in Hackney and Tottenham, you know the crazy ones in there, yeah. and all that stabbing people. Yeah, I help them out, you know, yeah. breathing techniques, things like that. Yeah, but I also tell them about the soul and the Holy Spirit. Yeah, but also the mind has got some sort of corruption I've noticed inside. It's uh, you see this gang thing because obviously I work in club for 17 years in Hackney as well. Oh. So you know, so I, you work, know. I know, I know a lot. The, the, the gang is a devilish, it's a gang is a demonized. So it's not about only talking to them. 
You can talk to them tomorrow and be good. Then the next few years they will change. They need the Holy Spirit. They need God. You see, the heart of man can never be cleaned from outside. You have to clean from inside. That's why Jesus Christ was talking to the Pharisees. They were Jewish people. Remember, they are the one that came in. Then he was telling to them, you outside looks so beautiful, but inside you is full of what dead man bones and coffins and uncleanness. So God is want to want move them away from their outward and external into what internal changes. And that is only where God can change man from inside, not from outside. From inside, God will change you. I work for club for 17 years. Just, just imagine that, brother. And all these years, I never give my life to God until I find Jesus Christ. You see? So only when you find Jesus Christ, you receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. That is only when you can live what? Call yourself a Christian. You see, many people today, they call themselves a Christian, but they're all drinking, smoking. They're all doing the same. So, you know why? Because it's Jesus. They said that Jesus turned the water into wine. Yeah, so I preach about I preach about I preach about that they are mistaken. They're mistaken. There's no way just trying to get you drunk. No. Just think about you that. Know I think, you know, I feel. You yeah. might disagree with me. But I feel at that time, you know, the the water, he didn't turn into wine, but he could have turned it into No, he turned no let me explain to you no, because I appreciate it. Oh go ahead, go ahead. I think he turned it into uh, red colored water. Really no, 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 no. Because they're already no, drunk. No, no, no. In the Jewish what they call wine is a fresh fresh or grape juice uh, that's what they call wine now you got the fermented one you know fermented that's uh, the point you remember you remember you remember, remember about the lost supper yeah, no, listen brother you remember about the lost supper when yeah. just why says about the bread and the wine yeah, yeah. do you know how the jewish people do the bread yeah. without yeast without ferment <laughs> without sugar exactly yeah, yeah. now you think uh, about that right. and that also related to what to the grape so the grape was freshly squeezed grape not fermented yeah, yeah. And I'm not fermented. There's no sugar. There's no yeast. There's nothing there. Because obviously, if you have to, if you have to make the drink too strong, yeah. guess what? Even those days, brother. Even though the the ones they're fermented, they're not. They're not like the drink they sell in the shop these days. Oh God, that's true. You know what I mean? No, man, you mad? Yes. Yeah. And just like them again, say, don't fill yourself with wine. But guess what? Fill yourself with the Holy Spirit. Oh, come on. You got the point. And there's no way God is gonna tell you yeah, to stay away from wine and get you drunk. I was 19 years. I don't need the microphone. Yeah, go ahead. I was 19 years. Weed, cannabis, a gun on my waist. Now I left it all alone. Hallelujah. But now, hallelujah. But now there's work to be done in the brain, definitely. That's why I've noticed. Yeah. So, so have you given your life to God? Of course I have. Okay. But, but don't please. I, I know you disagree with me here. Yeah. But I've mainly on the holy spirit i i don't like the segregation of the different religions i think that has really departed us i know christian has got something good if i think with christians i pray with christians city gates church you, you are mistaken there city gates church the baptist church you are mistaken there let me tell you why uh. now when Jesus christ came in the book of john 14 verses do you know what he says mm. i am the way the word. <laughs> so that means everyone that religion both hindu both muslim have been wiped out both Buddha, every other region have been wiped. He said, I am the way. So that means if you feel that way, you can miss your way. He said, I am the truth. So that means it's not any life. He said again, I am the life. So that means in him you have internal life. Now you tell me any religion who say they are the way. No one, nobody, nobody can say he is the way. I cannot even say I'm the way. Nobody. Not even any religion can come here and say if they said that, God will deal with them. So what do you think of that? Uh, you know that the Christians, uh, they're, they're healing. You know, they're, when they say they can heal people through the blood of Christ. What do you think of that? They put their hands on your head and they take away things. Yeah, I can pray for somebody. If anyone who is sick, if anyone who is sick come here, I will get healed. Can, can you do that? It's not me doing it. It's the Holy Spirit. It's Holy Spirit. It's God doing that. To make a blind man see? Yes. God can do that. Not me. I just have to. As I'm a servant. I just pray. Now, two years ago, two people got cancer in my church. Pastor prayed for them, and they're all healed. So, this week as we're going to come pray for another lady who got, got cancer, and we believe that she's going to get healed. He say, brother, listen to me. There's a power in the name of Jesus. Do oh, you no, believe no, that? I, I know that. I know there that. is power in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, me, I'm a testimony speaking to you now. Two years ago, I was diagnosed, and they told me they couldn't cure me. And I give my life to God, He heal me. And look at me here, I have to do the work of God. Because when God hear me, I say, this is the God that I have to serve. And that is why today, tell me any Muslim who can come here and tell me that they have the power to heal. 
They can go to doctor, which is normal, everyone go to doctor. But there's nobody who can come here and tell me that he wants to do what? Have the power to heal. But they can use the name of Jesus so they, and they can heal. No, it's not going to happen because you see what he's saying. If you don't believe in him, it's not going to work for you. If you don't believe in God, the Father, and the Son, the Holy Spirit, it's not going to work for you. He can't pick the Son and reject the Father. So he can't pick the Father and so reject the, the Son. Problem? What's the problem then? Do you think the problem is the white hair? The problem is Jesus Christ. No, 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 I'm saying, what do you think the problem is? Do you think it's the white haired, blue eyed Jesus? No, 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 no. No, no, no. So mo Muslim, that puts off a lot of black people. No, no, no. So. Forget about the black people. Their mentality they need to repent. I have that mentality. I have yeah, to change. Forget about the picture. God is a spirit. That's what the Bible says in the Book of John. Jesus Christ speaking. Not even, not even anybody else. Jesus Christ was saying, God is a spirit, and those who must serve Him must serve Him in truth and spirit. So that means God doesn't do color. So the black people need to change their mindset. I'm telling you, brother, that we need to change our mindset concerning picture, color. That picture has much stuff. Forget about the picture. That's not Jesus Christ. Do you know that? So why do they have it in churches? Sorry? Why do they have it in so many churches? Because, because of, the Bible says my people perish because of well, lack of knowledge. You know? Sometimes I post these pictures in the Facebook. Listen to, to tell me, brother. It's to do was to draw people closer to God. But the Bible said that God is a spirit. So I believe that you could take a picture with yeah. your phone. Yeah. And you could go home and you could pray to the Holy Spirit for my healing. Can you do that? Yeah, I, I just need your name. That's it. Your, my name and that picture and a picture of me. You can do that, right? I can do that. And also I can just use your name. And you put it in this way. If I give it to my pastor, if I, for example, now, if someone comes to prayer house because we are praying healing ministry, okay? And for example, I give my pastor the name. If you know what happened, brother, God going to repeat to pastor what, what is your lifestyle, what you have done. This is the God that we are serving, brother. It's not magic. It's belief. You understand what I mean? You have to believe, you know? Everybody believes on something. If you don't believe in God, you believe in drinking, you believe in smoking, you believe in anything. But I want you to give your life to God. So what happens? And I want to change your mindset well, to the well, word of my God. My mindset is changing. I'm just happy to hear you and speak to you. I have many abilities myself you would not believe. But yeah. I've got one more question to ask you. Go ahead. Just one more question. When you're praying for the healing of someone, and you feel an interruption coming in from somewhere. What do you do with that interruption? Just like we're speaking now, and there's someone who's throw a dagger. What do you do with that interruption? So, so this happened to me uh, last year. I was in a dream, and I was uh, I was falling asleep. God, God lift me up. You know, like you got the minions, the devil, and the ground. I was up. I could see everything. And God said, send the fire of the Holy Spirit. And I sent fire, destroy them. You see, all this thing cannot be done by your woman flesh. Everything has to go in the spiritual realm. Before somebody gets healed, that battle needs to be found in the spiritual realm. And then it happens on the physical after. So you can still pray, and even if you get interruptions, it will still work. They, they therefore have no power. Let me, tell, let me give you a secret before you leave. Or let me give you a word of wisdom. God created devil. Can we agree on that? Amen? God created devil. Okay. okay. And the same God that created devil, he lead devil and devil to be doing something, to be doing whatever he's doing. So God is in charge of devil and God can remove devil in a moment. God can also put devil away. God can hinder devil from doing what he wants to do to you. And God can allow devil to do that to you. So it depends on your, your relationship with God. Or maybe sometimes God will let devil to deal with man of God and then to test your faith. That's why you see some men of God, they are going through trials and tribulations and tests. It's because what well, God allowed that to happen. Look at Job. Look at the life of Job. God allowed that to happen to him, but then I tell them, well, don't touch his soul. So God can do everything. The same God that allowed coronavirus, the same God going to stop this coronavirus one day. And that is why some people, this coronavirus is not a bad news. Do you know why? Some people give their life to God. The same way thousands are dying on the other side, the same way thousands are being saved on the other side. God is doing the same thing at the same time. The Bible says He wounds you, He heals you. This is the God we are serving. So sometimes God will allow problems to come into your life so that you can be saved. My own case was sickness. Without sickness, I will be in the club partying non-stop like you don't care. But then again, when I got sickness, this is the time to draw near to God. I draw near to God. You know, you know what God said to me? Close my business. I close my security company. I lose 108,000 pounds. And everybody think I'm cuckoo, I'm stupid. But look at me now, preaching this straight. This is two years ago. And Where is money? Where is money? Money is nothing, man. Money is nothing. Now you get it. Money is nothing. Look what happened to Lazarus. Look out. <laughs> there you go. 
I don't so, know the Bible from the beginning to the end. <laughs> so, so this but is I have good. To go now because I got some God time. bless you. What's your name again? Rashid. Rashid. Yeah. I'll pray for you, Rashid. I would love you to pray for me. I'll pray for you. Definitely. Remember, bless in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus is Lord. Amen and amen and amen.